Today, we're diving into the world of photography and we're exploring three different entry-level price points to help you get started. We'll be covering camera gear below $3,000, $1,000, and 500 bucks. Whether you're just beginning or looking to upgrade, this video is gonna be for you. It's gonna help you sift through all the noise and be able to find gear that is actually important that's gonna get you started as quickly as possible. So let's jump right in. Let's start with the highest budget first, the under $3,000. This budget is perfect for people that have already dabbled in photography and videography and they're ready to upgrade to the next level. My recommendation for this price point for the camera is gonna be the Canon R6 Mark II. Depending on when you're watching this video, the Canon R6 Mark II is priced for $2,500. That leaves you about $500 left over, just enough money to get you a spectacular lens. Now, the lens that I recommend for this budget is a 35 millimeter prime the RF version, and it's also a macro lens that has image stabilization built into it. This lens is spectacular for the price. You can find it brand new and used for under $500. At this price point of under $3,000, you'll also have access to a wider range of high quality lenses and accessories, allowing you to push your creative boundaries even further. While this budget may not be for everyone, it's definitely worth considering if you're looking to take your photography to the next level. The two recommendations in terms of the camera body and the lens is something that I personally own that I know is spectacular. Definitely look for better deals in terms of camera body and lenses in the used market. That's just the camera and lens combo that I recommend to you. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I post behind the scenes of my content and my photography. I post daily on both of those platforms and it's filled with some photography tips that you won't want to miss. Moving on to our second price point, the under 1000. This budget is ideal for those who want a more advanced camera with better features and image quality without spending a fortune. The camera that I recommend within this price point is the Canon M50. That's this little camera here. It is a crop sensor camera with an interchangeable lens system. This was the camera that started it all for me and I've owned it for about three years now and it's still a fantastic camera to this day. I would pair the Canon M50 with the Sigma 16 millimeter lens for the EFM mount. This is a contemporary, contemporary lens and at 16 millimeters with the crop factor, it's roughly a 24 millimeter lens giving you a lot of versatility and it's incredibly fast at a minimum 1.4 aperture. This combo is spectacular for those that are just getting started in content creation. With a budget of up to $1,000, you'll have a little bit more options with lenses and accessories, allowing you to explore different types of photography like portraits, landscapes, and action shots. This price range is perfect for those who are serious about improving their skills and are interested in investing in their passion. Finally, the under $500 budget. This budget is perfect for those who are just getting started and want to test the waters without breaking the bank. This budget is for people that are still using their cell phone for their content creation and want to take it just another step further. Some great options in this category include the Canon EOS M100. This camera offers a user-friendly, lightweight system and offers really great image quality for the price. You'll also have the option to switch lenses. All of the camera bodies that I mentioned are interchangeable lens system, giving you a lot of room to grow and to develop your skills. I don't recommend any point and shoot cameras because you're limited to the built-in lens that is built into the camera, often not the highest quality of lenses. Keep in mind that at this price point, you will be making some compromises, such as a slower autofocus and fewer features, but it's still a fantastic budget to get started with. At $500, you'll have enough room to buy the camera body and probably one lens, and they will most likely be in the used market, but again, at $500, you're taking that first initial step that's saying, I'm gonna take this seriously. That's gonna do it for me with these three different price points. 
Make sure to leave any comments or questions about the gear that I recommended. I've left links down in the description and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. At the moment, I'm answering any and all questions regarding these camera systems. Again, at $3,000, I recommend the Canon R6 Mark II with a 35mm RF lens. At $1,000, I recommend the Canon EOS M50 with a Sigma 16mm f1.4. And at the sub 500 bucks, it's going to be another Canon with an interchangeable lens system, the M100 and the kit lens. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, go down and subscribe to my channel. I post weekly videos where I like to talk about camera gear, camera reviews, and I like to post beginner friendly tutorials about photography, videography, and how to get started on your creative journey. Also, consider following me on all of my social media platforms. I like to post daily videos and, and I like to post my photography on there as well. Adiós.